wildfires to surveying vineyards. We've uh, seen drones used for just about everything, but this may be a first. A local high school is using a drone to record players on the field. But the question is now, is it safe for the kids, and does it give more maybe affluent schools who can afford these drones an advantage? We sent our Chris Holmstrom to Camus to find out, Chris. Dan and Jennifer, it seems like drone use is everywhere. And as we know, it's a very controversial topic. But now, Camus High School is using it for their football team. Camus High School is one of the best high school football teams in Washington State. But last year at the state championship game, they experienced a heartbreaking loss. Go. This year, they're hoping for a happier ending by using drones at football practice. So it's overhead angles and be able to see you know, formations and, and proper technique. Rory Oster is the athletic director. He says the drone has been a valuable tool for the coaches. I asked how much. He says about $1,700. It's not that we can afford to, to purchase it. We got kids that are working hard to go earn the money. I found out the money was raised by fundraisers, costing the district no out-of-pocket cost. But I wanted to know what rival schools thought about this cutting-edge technology. So I went to Evergreen High School and spoke with the athletic director there. Would Evergreen High School be using a drone? Uh, at this time, I don't think so, just because we have to channel our monies different directions, whether it be sending kids to camp, stuff like that. Keenan Burris tells me based on Evergreen's demographic, technology like this would not be an option. He says even if it was, the school would probably pass. Obviously concerns, you know. You know, how long does it last? You know, if you film somebody, something you're not supposed to, or, you know, if it crashes down on a player. Valid concerns I took to Camus. What about liability? What if the camera falls and hits a kid on the head and he's not wearing a helmet? What happens then? Well, <laughs> I, think, I think with athletics and anything you do with a, the with a school district and when it comes to athletics, anything we do, there's a, there's a liability. Back out here live, the athletic director says the drone will only be used by trained staff and will be properly maintained. And he wants people to know that the drone will be used for other sports as well. Reporting live at Chemist High School, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News.